Slideshow commentaries, they've been in things since 2008, making them 10 plus years old, and within those years we've seen commentaries come and go for a multitude of reasons, but sometimes a commentary will have such a limited time in the spotlight due to Quentin commentaries early on, and honestly, I don't think that's fair, so I thought I'd make a video talking about these guys and, you know, maybe bring a little more attention to their time in the community. Nebula Badger is the first person that comes to my mind when I think of a commentator with so much potential, but they never ended up using it. She started in 2017 and did about 5 or so commentaries before dipping and deleting all her videos in 2018, which I think is just sad because honestly, she could have been a great commentator, and from what I saw, she was on a steady way to improving her commentaries. In fact, one of them was on this person called Nightmare Kitten, and I remember really liking that video. From what I remember, the editing style was pretty unique, and the points were pretty good as well. Hell, she's the only only person I know who legit used the delightful children from down the lane as a singular avatar, you know. <laughs> She was crazy. The only remnants of her video that are still left are Dick Sponge, Emily, and MTR's videos on her, but honestly, I wish she kept her videos up just so you guys could see them, because they were honestly good in my opinion. DM88 was my first homie in the CC, so you know, I thought I'd give him a shout out too. Anyways, the dude was pretty active in the community in 2017, making commentaries that didn't get that much attention, however, he contributed a lot more to the CC than you think. For example, you guys might remember the Corporation of the Alternative Nitpickers, or CAN for short. From a first glance, one might assume that Nigel and I made the group considering that he was the group's admin at the time that the group made content, but the group was actually made by the Direct Messenger 88. He left the leader position after getting stressed with running the group, so he eventually handed the reins to Foxwell. Since his leave, he decided to make a separate channel for commentaries called The Mental Spaghetti Noodle 2900, where he made a couple more commentaries until he eventually left once again. Like I said before, me and DM8 were homies back in the day, and if there happens to be a time where he wants to come back to making commentaries, I'll embrace him with open arms. Okay, forgive me if I mispronounce this because I'm not a weeb, but Kororo Kukichi7 is a commentator who, from my understanding, started in 2012 and made commentaries until late 2014. Not many people would even remember she was a thing unless you happen to see her comms or you watch Scarlet Otaku's old videos, because as far as I'm aware, she's only been covered by her. Admittedly, the main reason I'm including her here is not only because she's a forgotten commentator, but also because she's, you know, one of the very first people I saw when it came to commentaries as a whole. My introduction to her was her commentary on the Uncle Hammer, and while nowadays the video feels like a 20 13 video and it really doesn't hold up point wise. It was one of the first videos to give me interest in commentaries and so I definitely, you know, had to give her props for that. She's been inactive for a couple of years at this point, but if she wants to come back to making commentaries, I think she'd be great at it, so yeah. This is a little bit of a more recent one. So, Spy and Jeopardy was a commentator who made commentaries from 2020 to early 2021. His commentaries had a unique feel to them, being based around some sort of detective kind of theme. He even used White Spy as an avatar all the fucking time, and while he was around, he was actually pretty damn good in my opinion. Not to say that he was, you know, perfect or anything, hell, I even covered him at one point, but I thought his way of debunking things was pretty insightful. Unfortunately, in February 2021, he released a video response to Doodle, which wasn't really all that good. Good. And after this, he pretty much dipped from commentaries, and that just fucking sucks. Look, dude, if you're watching this video, I get that the video wasn't good, but I could have easily saw you bouncing off this video pretty fine. It's only a bad video, it's nothing to be ashamed about, and honestly, I think you should come back to commentaries at some point, because I really enjoy your stuff. Finally, I'll wrap things up by talking about someone who I'm actually still in contact with. Measure Number 22, or as they're known nowadays, DJ Ben Jammin, was a commentator who started making videos in 2018, starting off with a commentary on Sav Draws that no one really noticed, and they eventually did more comms, but they eventually started to slow down. Then in 2019, they basically became a commentary machine, pumping out commentaries within just days of each other, and honestly, from what I remember, you wouldn't have even noticed that they were made, you know, days within each other. They also joined Dynasty of Idiotic and Sanctuary but eventually left commentaries as a whole, and thus went all of their commentaries, and the only remnants of them in video form is two of my co-ops with Supersonic Ward 15. If I remember correctly, they did want to come back to commentaries at some point, but due to real life, they've been incredibly busy, and hopefully, they can deal with all that bullshit and return to the CC. Look, it's kinda lonely being the only fucking juggalo in the CC.